What's up, divas? What's up, divos? It's your girl, April, and you guys already know what time it is. It's Wednesday. It's Real Talk Wednesday, and your girl's coming through with a video for you. Hope you guys all had a great week. I did. You know, as you guys know, my birthday was last Saturday, and I enjoyed it. Got to stay home. I mean, who wouldn't want to stay home? It's 117 degrees outside, so bitch ain't really trying to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the house. I've had a really... My birthday was amazing. You know what I'm saying? My kids all came through with, like, gifts. So I got flowers. I got plants. I got three gift cards from Bath and Body Works from my son, excuse me, from my daughter, from my mom, from my bestie. I got a plant. I got flowers, balloons. I got a box of wine. You know what I'm saying? I got t-shirts. My son, Jerron, came through with a box of wine, t-shirts, and some Bath and Body Works products. He didn't give me no gift card. He got me a whole mess of lotions and smell goods. They they know me real well. They know what I like. Then I also, you know what I'm saying, also got one of my favorite chicken sandwiches I got for my daughter Tati and my daughter Nate both bought me two a piece. Love that chicken from Popeye's. I did not eat all four of them on my birthday. I only ate one and then I shared one with Mumsy, one with Nate, and then I ate the other one the next day. So that's how I handled that. I did have me some drinks of wine. You know, I had a good birthday. Um, I just chilled. I had my cute little bonnet on from um, JP and Craft Company, uh, retro bonnet, and I also had my little lounging romper, short romper on, and I stayed in that all day, and I stayed in the house, and I just relaxed, and I edited a DIY video, which I'm really disappointed because it barely got any views on it. I posted it up on Sunday. Today is Monday, actually, and um, I worked hard on this project, and um, I'm just really not happy that it, it barely got any views, and I don't know what's up with the YouTube algorithm or what have you, but in all honesty, a part of me just wants to just say fuck YouTube like and I hope and I hate to feel like that but um I just really feel like you know I just feel like it's like you know what fuck YouTube I don't know if I have this in me anymore to do this. Like, and I, and I really do enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? Because I get to converse and I get to share my thoughts and feelings. So I, that's the part that I like the most. But the part that when I spend time editing or when I spend time creating something and then it barely gets views, that's the hurtful part. That's the part that's hard to accept, you know what I mean? So, you know, I try to do all different types of things but I'm not really sure what's going on with YouTube and their algorithm. It seems like one minute one person could be really, really interesting, and then the next minute they're no longer interesting. And that's just really honestly how I feel about my channel. Um, so, yeah, a part of me really does want to say, fuck YouTube, okay? And maybe I just need to take a vacation, a break. Like, I'm not really going anywhere, but you, you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, I brought Real Talk back because this was like a huge segment on my channel, and I really appreciated the comments and just the views. But just even other things that I do are just a little bit like, you know, is it even worth doing this anymore? So it does become like a big, huge disappointment, Debbie Downer, you know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, I've just been chilling. I've just been trying to stay cool, to be honest. I actually have been working out five days in a row now with a YouTuber that I watch every morning called Grow With Joe. Now, I've been doing the low-impact um, workout, you know, it's a walk workout, and um, I've only been doing this because I'm. it's hot outside, and I really like to walk outside. That's how I lost the weight the last time. Um, but, girl, it's like at 6 o'clock, 7, 7 o'clock, it's 95 degrees outside. And who the fuck want to walk outside in 95 degrees? Like, I did that last week, and, girl, let me tell y'all, too hot. Too hot to ride the bike. My tires are fixed, man, and it's too hot. So I've been working out inside, and I'm just the type of person, I feel like sometimes I become a little bit impatient because I just want to see results right then and there at that moment. So today I am one, two, I was about to say 118 pounds, a bitch wish, 218 pounds. Last Monday, I was 223 pounds. So I've been working out five days in a row, really great exercise, 20 minutes, and I haven't been eating at night, but I've been trying to watch what I've been eating. I, I don't really eat a lot, but my problem is I don't eat enough. And then when I do, it's something that I just want to just lay my ass down 
and eat in bed and just chill. I don't really want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. So I've been trying to be better at this working out and this weight loss thing, but I really do wish that I could walk outside, hear the birds, see the different scenery, but it's too hot. And I, that's what I really do enjoy the most is going on my walks early in the morning. You know, once you, I just enjoyed the walks. It's not that I don't like working out inside. The young lady is really motivational. Her vibes are great. But girl, I, I'm just, I, I like to be outside walking. I really like to be outside walking. So I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just wing this out until it gets cool outside, which is not until the end of October. But, I, you know, I might tr might have my better days when I can go out and walk outside. But at 117 and shit, don't nobody want to go outside. Don't nobody want to go anywhere. So other than that, I've been, let me tell y'all, why am I sitting here right now as I was, you know, fixing up my eyebrows and doing my lashes. I got regular size lashes on this week, you guys, regular size. These are just regular lashes from Shop Miss A, my favorite ones. Um, they don't even have a band. I mean, they do have a band, but their band is clear. And these are the natural looking ones. I like these ones. Like, you know, sometimes you got to switch it up. You got to go back to, you know, I love the 25 millimeter lashes too, but they're not for every single day. And um, my eye is, but my left eye has been twitching like crazy over the past couple of months. Can y'all see that? So it's, um, so I put those on today and I look, I tell you these, you can't even see them. They're so easy to put on. I love these lashes. Super duper easy. Um, you know, they don't look bad either. They actually don't look bad for them to be smaller. You know, I don't have to always wear these oversized lashes and shit, but once you go big, you don't really want to go small, but these don't look too bad anyway. Anyway, um, as I was doing that, that's what I was, and putting my little headband wig on, I'm sitting up here watching Jocelyn's Cabaret season two. Now, I've never watched season one because it just ain't my thing. Um, I purchased the Zeus Network. You know, it's a great subscription if you like shows like this. Um, I've only watched one show series on this Zeus's Network, which was um, Black China's and The Real Chance show, so two series. I don't really even bother with it. I paid for it for the whole year, which was like $40 for a whole year. It's not bad, but I don't watch it. Like, So I gave my password out to my son and my daughter, Tati. They like these type of shows. My my daughter-in-law and my daughter, Tati, they like these type of shows. But I, anyway, I'm sitting here watching Johnson's Cabaret, and I didn't know it was a term um, that strippers like to be called or whoever, the bottom bitch. What is a bottom bitch? Like, that doesn't even sound like something that I would want to fight you over for taking my spot. Like, I'm sitting here watching this, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person who's watched this Jocelyn's Cabaret foolishness. But, um, yeah, we got this white girl in here named Barbie who got beat up by this girl named Lucky because Barbie was the bottom bitch to Jocelyn. So I don't know. Is that, like, another way of calling somebody your bestie, your little slave, your handmaid? Like, if you was to call me a bottom bitch, we're going to have problems. I don't... I, we're going to have... That's fighting words to me. But, no, they're total opposite. You took my spot as the bottom bitch. Like, that don't even sound like something I would want to really sit there and fight someone over. You know, we got titties flying, weaves flying. It's comical, but then it's like, y'all are just doing a lot and a lot of fake shit, like a lot of fake big booties, which I don't have nothing against. And, you know, it's just a lot. It's a lot. And now I see why it's not on, like, something like VH1, because when I say they showing titties, you see the whole titty, the areola, you see the titty, okay? Like, that's nipples. You see the titties. So it's like, oh, okay. All right. Now I see what I'm missing out on. But anyway, we're going to jump right into this. Um, other than that, there's really not much to tell you guys. I am thinking about selling some lashes on my wig website. So I have ordered like a bunch of lashes and um, I'm going to just test them out. You know, they're not all big because I know not everybody likes lashes like that. But I just thought it would be nice to have on my website along with the wigs. You know what I'm saying? Um We'll see something different. Um, I'm just trying out different things, okay? Um, like overlining my lips, which I did do. Can you tell? But then I wiped it off. Like, I, it, it just looked ridiculous. It didn't look good. I overlined them. And I, I thought it looked cute because I've been watching these tutorials on YouTube. And the girls looked cute, but, I mean, they didn't have any lips to begin with. I'm not saying that I have a lot of lips on the top, but they didn't have any top lip at all. 
So I figured, let me just try this because I want my lipstick to look good too. Maybe if I overline and do what they instructed to do, it will come out right. Girl, no. Girl, bye. It did not. So anyway, we're going to just jump right into this real talk. First, we're going to do a promo and then we're going to get into real talk. Okay. Hey guys, I'd like to introduce you to the L Gear Cooling Blanket, which is cooling like no other. If any one of you guys suffer from hot flashes at night like me, or you just don't want to be so hot and sweaty, then this blanket actually provides a cooling technology or cool touch technology, which absorbs the heat to keep you cool. It is 80% nylon, 20% polyurethane, and the back of it is a 100% cotton L gear, which is also available on Amazon. You guys know Amazon has everything in the world. I absolutely love Amazon. They do come in a variety of sizes, along with a variety of colors as well. And also the cool thing about it, you also can get matching pillowcases in case you want to keep your head cool. Now I do like this blanket because I have been using it for a month. I do suffer from hot flashes due to a medical surgery. So if you're like me, you suffer from hot flashes, this may help you a lot. Plus the blanket is lightweight, so it's easy to travel with. So this is the cooling blanket, and I've had this blanket for about a month now. It does come in a multiple of colors. I decided to opt for this color because it just matched a lot better with the bedspread that I had on at the time. Um, it does have two different types of fabrics. One side, I wanna say it's like a jersey knit material, and then on the opposite side, it to me it's like a polyester type of blend but this does give you like a cooling effect. I really wasn't a believer until I used it and I get a lot of hot flashes at night when I'm sleeping because you know, I've had a full hysterectomy. So this blanket has actually really come in handy. It's not thick at all. Um, I do travel with it, meaning when I go downstairs and I wanna just cuddle up on my couch, I will bring this blanket with me because it doesn't make me hot. Um, I do pull all the covers down at night and I just use this. This is the queen size. They do have other sizes as well. Along with that, they have other colors. They also have matching pillowcases, which I do have. Now I'll be honest about the pillowcases. I really don't see the difference in the pillowcases, but with the covers, with the blanket, I definitely do see. The first night that I used this blanket, I did notice that I was sweating less. I didn't say I wasn't sweating at all, but I was sweating less. So if you have like hot flashes and anything like that, then you definitely want to check the blanket out. But it's also a great travel blanket too. So I will leave the information down below for you. All right, you guys, so you already know the rules about um, Real Talk. If you have a Real Talk issue, you can always send me an email to muffinismylovers2012 at gmail.com and just subject line uh, real talk, or you can send it to April's real talk at gmail.com. Either way, I'll post it below. Sometimes I'll be forgetting to put April's real talk. So, but my other one is always there. I have to remember to put that as a default. Um, and if you want to change your name to something else in the video or in the email, go ahead and do so. Some people don't even put what they want to be called. That's fine too, because I'll make a name up for you. So anyway, Let's go. Huh? 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 What? Damn. 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 she slept with my dad. Hey, Miss Muffin, I want to thank you in advance for reading this and hope you are able to get to it soon. I'm seriously in need of your advice. So recently, my father passed away due to health issues. This was a year ago, so I guess it's not really that recent. So anyway, my dad was a lawyer and has been married to my mom forever. They have been together since college, which is where they met. My father was in his late 50s when he passed away. I'm 21 years old, so as you can tell, they had me late in life due to career moves. So here is where the problem comes in. As my father was in the hospital, and I hate to say, but he was in hospice, there was nothing else the doctors could do for him. So he had to be put into hospice. 
Anyway, my father revealed to my mother before he passed that he had a son out of the marriage. My mother was devastated and heartbroken. He asked her to please look out for his son as he has nothing. My mother ended up meeting the young man who is actually the age of 17 now. She also met the mother as they both came to the hospice, hospice and attended the services. I'm upset because why is my mother really looking out for this boy? Like, I get it, he's my half-brother, but he's not really the problem. The problem is his mother, who constantly asks my mother for help. It can be anything from help with their rent, to groceries, to helping with bills, to other things. I have tried numerous times to talk to my mom and let her know this woman is using her. She knows my mother has money as she and my father owned a law firm together. And now that he is gone, my mother owns the entire business. My mom has helped his son out by giving him money for clothes and school tuition. But the mother is asking for way too much. It's not my mother's place to pay her rent and bills. This, wo this woman doesn't have a job and seems like nothing but trouble. She is younger than my parents. I have tried to tell my mother she needs to find out if the son is really my half-brother because she is not sure if paternity has been established. I have nothing against him as I am still trying to know him and he seems very well-mannered and ambitious, but his mother is not someone I like at all. How do I tell my mother she needs to stop supporting my father's other family that is not her responsibility? She keeps saying, I made a promise to your father before he passed that I would look out for his son. But Miss Muffin, what about the promise my dad made to her when they said their vows? Thank you again for reading this. Oh yeah, you can call me Amy. This is like a Lifetime movie right here. I mean, like it seems like every freaking real talk that I do is like a Lifetime movie. I like Lifetime, okay? So we got Amy here who is 21 and her father passed away a year ago and her father and her mother are in their 50s. They met at college, they've been together forever and you know they got a law firm together when Amy's father was on his deathbed in hospice and I hate to say it like that but he did ask his wife, excuse me, he revealed to his wife that he went outside, he stepped outside the marriage and when he stepped outside the marriage, he really stepped outside the marriage. He stepped outside the whole marriage the box and everything else that man stepped outside the marriage and caught a kid caught a body he caught a body okay a child so now we got this little 17 year old boy running around and you see amy's 21 so they only four years apart so hey and and with a younger woman okay at that she said that he she's younger the mother is younger than the their her parents so anyway amy's father revealed to her mom that you know he stepped outside the marriage and then let her know that he got a body and could you please support and help his son that he had outside the marriage because this young man doesn't have anything i'm pretty sure he had stuff due to the father taking care of him but i guess you know, what the type of environment from what I'm reading here, you know? Yeah. So the mom was devastated. Amy's mom was devastated and heartbroken. Like, but who wouldn't be? Like, could you imagine being married to someone for, or being with someone for so long? They met in college and now he's in his late fifties passing away. So, you know, maybe like 1920 in college and 50, that's like 30 something, 30, 50 something. Late fifties could be like 59, 50, 30 something, 35, this is a long time. Let's just put it like that. And then you come to find out that you have a husband that has not only cheated on you, but had a baby on you. And then on his last breath, his deathbed, and I, I don't know any other way to say it, so no disrespect, he is revealing to his wife that he has another son. And can you please look out for his son to someone else? It's one thing to cheat, because that's not right. You, when you're married with someone, you got a business together, and you guys are rocking together, working together, building up together. That's bad to cheat on them, because you have built up a foundation. But when you cheat is one thing, but to cheat and have a baby with someone else behind your wife, your spouse, your significant other's back, that's a whole lot of something else. I wish he would have said something to Amy's mom way before his passing. You know what I'm saying? I guess he didn't want to go with a guilty conscience or maybe he didn't want to pass away and this pop up at her. You know what I'm saying? Unknowing. So I can probably understand that part. But 
it's kind of it's it's very hurtful. Now you don't ask. He didn't ask Amy's mom, can she please look out for his son? Can she please take care of him? Because he don't have nothing. And she promised him that she would do that. But here's the thing. You promised to take care of the son. Amy's mom is paying their rent, their grocery bill, their bills. Like, let me tell you something. If you have a baby on me, I'm not paying for anything but a divorce, okay? That's the only thing I'm going to pay for if you haven't passed away. If you passed away... Okay, and you told me this when you passed away. I don't know how I would feel, to be honest. I mean, I would, I know I would be heartbroken and I know I would be so hurt, but I wouldn't be that hurt and that heartbroken that I'm gonna pay for your other female bills and groceries. I'm not about to do that. Like, I would look out for the boy. I would, I would welcome the young man into our home, into our family. I would want him to get to know our daughter because they are brother and sister. But as far as paying your rent, sweetheart, you gonna have to do that on your own terms, okay? Nobody told you to open up your legs and lay down with somebody else's husband, okay? And I'm pretty sure you knew it was somebody else's husband. However, if you didn't know that, I'm pretty sure you learned that within the 17 years of your son being around on the face of this earth. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be paying anybody's bills. And as far as taking care of the young man, like, what can I possibly do to support the young man? Like, like, how do you handle that? You find out your husband has another whole family, and you're asked to support that that other family member, that child. How do you, how do you handle that? Like, you have to have some tough balls, some tough titties to accept that, for one, and then for two, to support them. Like, me personally, even if you was alive, I'm not, no, 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 no. You better hope that I'm not in jail, okay? Kicking your, from kicking your ass. How does she tell her mom that she needs to go get a paternity test? Because this is what Amy wants. She wants a paternity test because she doesn't know if paternity has ever been established between them two. And I understand that. You know, I totally understand it and I can respect that. Because if you're sleeping with a married man, who knows what else you've been doing? But that's not even the point either because that she she may not have known that he was a married man, okay? We, we, we really don't know. But if I was that woman, I'm not about to hide my son for 17 years. No way, no how. I understand you made a mistake and I made a mistake, but we're going to have to let this out into the light because who the hell wants to keep hiding from, from for years? Like, it was already fucked up that you got somebody pregnant, but, you know, I guess he didn't want to take a guilty conscience to the grave with him. And that's unfortunate that this young lady has to go through this along with her mom. But what her mom really needs to do is she needs to stop paying for people's rent and groceries and bills, okay? You helping the young man out, you bought him clothes, as she stated, tuition for school, as she stated. What more can you do? She don't have a job, from what Amy said. Listen, let me tell you something. When grown-ass women don't have a job and they expect other people to take care of them, to take care of their children, it's called welfare, okay? That's what it's called. Not volunteer work, not donations or anything like that. It's called welfare. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, but you have to, there comes a time in your life when you cannot keep using or relying on other people to take care of you and your child. Now, I get it. Maybe when he was a baby and a newborn, you couldn't find work and you needed to stay home with him, okay? Because you couldn't get him a daycare. But he's 17, sweetheart. Once he hit, like, preschool, honey, you can get your ass a job and get out there and work in the work field, like, straight up. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what you do. Sell some pussy, sell some ass, whatever. You get yourself a job. Um, me, for one, I just honestly feel like if the paternity test has not been established, then it does need to be established because... Why would you want to continuously take care of someone that you really don't know is part of your family? You get what I'm saying? And not saying blood has to be part a family member, because you don't have to be blood to be a family, family like that. But she don't know this little boy. She just met him a year ago. So it's not like he's like a huge staple in her life, like he's like been there. They just met him a year ago, and I'm not saying to shun him, and I'm not saying to, like, push him aside, but I really do feel like if you feel like the paternity has not been established, 
then it does need to be established, okay? But regardless, if it has been established and you find out that the little boy is really related to you, girl, your mama does not need to be paying rent, groceries, and bills for this lady. That lady need to get off her ass and get a job, okay? Or call the Department of Social Services, which is called welfare, okay? I'm not saying anything wrong with anybody on any type of social services or nothing like that, but... You gotta help yourself too. When you grown and you got a 17 year old grown kid and you are healthy, healthy wise, you know what I'm saying? You ain't getting no disability check. You can work, you got able body working person, then work. But yes, this lady is using your mama. She is using your mama. And I think she's taking her at a real desperate and vulnerable time. And okay, so your mother said she promised the father. This is what you need to tell your mother. So you promised daddy, you, you, you promised my father that you would look out for her son, for his son. You didn't promise him that you would pay the rent and the groceries and the bills. You promised to look out for the son, and that is what you do. You could talk to somebody until they blew in the face. You could just keep telling them something and keep telling them something and keep telling them something and keep telling them something until they blew in the face. You think that shit is going to get to them? You think that they're going to listen to anything you say? They're not going to get it until re when they're ready to get it. Like, straight facts. Like, nobody is going to worry about what you said or what you done did. Try to tell them something for their own good. They are going to get it when they're ready to get it. And it's unfortunate that your mom is being used at a bad time like this. But your mom do need to realize that she did make a promise to look out for the son, not to look out for the mother. It is the mother's responsibility to get off her ass and get a job and pay the rent and buy groceries and pay her bills. It's her mother. That's the mother's responsibility. Just the same way it's your mom's responsibility to look after you or was because you're 21. But just the same way it was your mom's responsibility to look after you is the same way. And she has done that by going to school and, and having a job. It's the same thing for your half brother's mom. She got to work for hers. She got to work for her. She got to work for theirs. She got to pay her own rent. If she can't pay her own rent, then what she need to do is take herself down to that welfare building and apply for some food stamps and some social services cash and some Medicaid or whatever else she can get. But it's not your mom's responsibility to take care of the whole family. I'm wondering, because this lady is asking your mother for money for bills, like rent and groceries, I'm, that's making me wonder was the father helping her pay the rent and bills like that? Pretty sure, because he did say his son has nothing. I'm pretty sure he realized the mistake that he had made, you know what I'm saying? But regardless of what, he loves his son. But your mom, she needs to come out of the clouds. She she really needs a reality, a dose of reality to let her know, you're not here to take care of the whole family. I wish somebody would pay all of that for me. Girl, we will be best friends, okay? I would never disrespect you, all right? I guess I would be the bottom bitch then, okay? The bottom bitch. I can't imagine finding out, like... That's what I'm talking about. This is a Lifetime movie. Like, I can't imagine finding out, like, oh, okay, well, I got a whole family. Excuse me, what? Uh, you got a whole what? A whole what? A whole broken... A whole broken teeth? A whole busted lip? What What? What did, you, what did you just say? You got a whole who? I have a whole family. I have a family outside of the marriage. Like, you said you have what now outside of the marriage? What? What is it that you got? Like, I can't imagine a man telling me, like, he got um, a whole family. Not even on before he passed away. The heck with all of that? Like, in general, like, could you imagine someone telling you, like, oh, well, we got a whole, I got a whole family. I had a family on you. Like, honestly, I'm sitting here, like, I don't, I don't really know how I would respond to that. Like, the mad, angry part of me would probably be, like, I'm not taking care of nobody. Um, and I would probably just leave. I I, I wouldn't want to curse you out because you you know in the state that you are, but honestly, I don't I don't I don't know how to respond to that. But if you were not on your deathbed and you told me you had a whole family on me, well, golly gee, you probably would have to want to go live with that whole family at the time after telling me this because I probably would go upside your head. Like, it's amazing how you can live with somebody for so long and be in a relationship with them and not know anything under underhanded that they're doing behind your back. Like, and then when you find out, it's like, 
you feel sometimes like, was I dumb? Was I blind? How could I not see this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you go on in life, just throughout life, lying to someone for so long about another family? Like, you see it in movies and it's just like, it's not amazing, but it's just like, wow. I cannot believe that this really happened. And, like, I didn't even notice this. I didn't even see any of this. Like, it's just, it's crazy. It's like you've been living a double life. And, like, that's kind of, like, a scary thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's totally scary. And it's very hurtful. And it's devastating. And my heart goes out to anybody who has had to endure such. But you do need to have a serious talk with her and let her know. You promise to take care of the son. Look out. Not take care. Look out out. Take care and look out is two different entities in itself. Look out, okay? Not take care. Maybe you need to specify that to your mom. You t- you promise to look out for his son, not take care of the entire family. Okay. So, on that note, girly girls, I'm gonna go. You know what, sh- what it is. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and share it. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. Let me know your thoughts on Jocelyn Hernandez Cabaret. What do y'all think about it if you watch it? You know. I don't know. I like to see them fighting. It's funny to me. That's like the funniest part. But anyway, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the soon to come.